Hey ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, the AMCF, Real Estate Private Foundational Trust Organization, or Artful, is here to help correct the record. Hopefully, you'll gain a little bit of information this video. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have a home loan or a car loan, and you follow the law, what law is that? Well, it's actually statute at large, 59 page 237. You will know it as 59 stat 237, subsection number two, this section here. Or you can go directly to the Federal Reserve Act, and I believe it is section 13, no, section 16, I apologize. Federal Reserve Act, section 16, subsection number two. It says this right here, any Federal Reserve Bank. Now, we discussed yesterday what any Federal Reserve Bank refers to. Give me a moment to pull that up again for you. May not be able to right now, so I will have to pause you all for just a split second so I can pull that information. So it'll be uno momento. As noted, the Federal Reserve Board makes advances of Federal Reserve notes. So, but this is in relation directly to the promissory notes from individuals. So let's see if we can understand the act without 45 minutes of communication. Any Federal Reserve Bank may make an application to the local Federal Reserve agent for such an amount of Federal Reserve notes here and before the here and before is this section here ladies and gentlemen the federal reserve notes is issued by the discretion of the federal board of governors of the federal system for the purpose of making advances to federal reserve banks through the federal reserve agents as here in after the next section set forth and for no other purposes are there are they authorized so let's find out what the authorization is the authorization is for the making of an application and I just discussed with Mr. Rice yesterday, many of you might know of Myron Rice, just discussed with him yesterday that an application and the promissory note in some cases like car loans are on the same document. There is no rule of law against that. So the application and the note may be accompanied on the same document. Pay attention, shall be accompanied with a tender. Before we go on, this is something you will need to understand. This is a case in 2009, State versus Bauman, where the court said, when the payment is received, the tender, so the payment is the tender, releases its lien so that title to the vehicle can be transferred to its purchaser by the dealer. Wait a minute, hold on. Let's make sure of something. It says, here and before provided for as it may require, such application shall be accompanied with a tender, which is payment to the local Federal Reserve agent of collateral. So the tender is the collateral in an amount equal to the sum of the Federal Reserve note that's applied for and issued pursuant to the application. See, pursuant to the application is the application that gives force to everything. It is the promissory note that pays for everything. Let's make sure. The collateral security, the payment thus offered, shall be notes. End of story. There is no trying to get around it. There is nothing the courts can say. Let's make sure of this. Subject to some limitations, restrictions, and regulations as the Federal Reserve Board may prescribe. Ladies and gentlemen, they can't put any restrictions. Why? Because we showed you a letter from the Federal Reserve where they specifically said, hold on, let's see if we can show you what they have said. This is from the Federal Reserve Board. Not that section right here. Based on the new information provided in your electronic message on August 4th, 2022, the staff 
searched board records and did not locate any documents responsive to your request. Therefore, we are unable to provide you with any responsive information. If you believe the determination that no responsive records exist is incorrect, you may administratively appeal by writing to the Secretary of the Board of Governors for the Federal Reserve System. Ladies and gentlemen, I will be writing to them by the end of this week. I want you to know, you further advise, you are looking for information on how that section of the Act, the sixth paragraph of Section 18 of the Federal Reserve Act, as amended by Section 401 of the 1933 Emergency Banking Act, is applied at present day for banking institutions. I didn't just say that. Guess what I actually said? Procedures for banking institutions for depositing and receiving deposits, notes, drafts, bills of exchange, trade acceptances, bankers' acceptances, and other government contractual obligations. They said there was no responsive information. However, let's find out what the responsive information is. They are supposed to have regulations prescribed. Any Federal Reserve Bank may make advances to any individual now you notice they didn't say local federal reserve agent they said any federal reserve bank we'll see in a second how that applies to any individual partnership or corporation on the promissory notes of such individuals and it says that the period of the advances shall not exceed 90 days well, let's determine what those advances are. Let's go back to the Federal Reserve Act. For the purpose of making advances to Federal Reserve banks, individuals, corporations, partnerships, through the Federal Reserve agents as here and after set forth. Well, here is the here and after. Making an application and issuing payment in the form of promissory notes tender to the local federal reserve agent of collateral and the collateral thus applied shall be notes let's put it in a nutshell shall we the amcf real estate foundational trust organization this particular organization is there to document the record that there has been tender. If there has been tender, then the tender releases the lien. The tender releases the lien. Upon recession, not rescission, uh, session is rescission. Oh, don't do that. I don't want to go there. Sorry. Give me one second. Upon rescission, the lender is required to release any security interest and the borrower is required to tender repayment of funds advanced lest any payments made already. Which means once you document that payment has been made, release is supposed to occur. This is not just an individual like myself saying it. This is the court saying it over and over and over again. Full repurchase of this repossesses the vehicle. Seller will upon AMCF demand pay this. The then unpaid balance provide the vehicle is offered to us within 90 days after maturity of the earliest installment still wholly in default. Ladies and gentlemen, as long as there's tender of payment, there can be no repossession. There can be no eviction. There can be no selling of any property. There can be no enforcement of any note or any agreement associated with the note. That's what AMCF is doing. Now, what's going to happen is many individuals are going to attempt to do what AMCF is doing. And, well... They're going to try to be cheap. AMCF has done the best they could in keeping their prices. Let's go to the offer. The service offer, because that's all AMCF is doing is providing a service. They have reduced the prices to this level to where they do most of the work. 
The individuals who come to the organization are required to mail out certain certified documents. That is so that there is a relationship and an agreement between the parties. Need you really to pay attention to this so that you are invested in your own remedy and you're not just relying on someone to do it for you. The only thing you have to do is fill out three documents, which is already pre-written and mail them out certified mail and then send copies of proof of the certified mail being sent out to the organization and they take care of everything from there. You've done your part because when it's time for you to call witnesses as to the procedure, that's where I come in as a representative of the organization, as the trustee. So, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, thank you for allowing me the opportunity to introduce you to AMCF, Real Estate Private Foundational Trust Organization, and what its purpose and mandate is, and how the law supports what it's doing. This video has demonstrated to you that when you tendered payment on anything, via a promissory note in an application that amounted to payment. There is no court in the union that can deny you that right to pay and it's not a violation of public policy for the act is public policy. Remember, this is the New Deal. This is the Federal Reserve Act. This is their policies under the Administrative Procedures Act and the McDade Amendment. They must follow their policies. When I asked them for the procedures, the procedures are right here, ladies and gentlemen, sections one, sections two. These are the procedure. I want you to pay attention so that you get it. As here and after set forth and for no other purposes are they authorized. Okay, then we get right here where it tells us here and before provided for as may be required. So these paragraphs go in conjunction hand in hand with each other and no other paragraph need to attach. This is directly from the March 9, 1933 Act, otherwise known as the Amendment to the Trading with the Enemy Act of March 9, 1933. Thank you for giving me the time to provide this explanation as to what the amcf.estate website and the AMCF real estate private foundational trust organization brings to our communities. Have a very good day, everyone. And I do hope that everything continues to go well with all of you and that you all continue to have somewhat of a peaceful existence. Goodbye.